Hey guys, welcome to my reaction channel. My name is Harry. If it's your first time here today, I welcome you on board. If you're a regular, I welcome you on board. My patrons, I welcome you on board as well. So what have I got for you today? Um, one of my patrons named Scott Walker has recommended this guy. Uh, he's called uh, Sixto Rodriguez. He reckons he's something special. And this is what Scott had to say about um, Sixto. He said, um, Imagine an artist who was overlooked, who should have been an icon and finally became an icon, but the masses still don't know about him. A documentary was done and it was called Searching for the Sugar Man. Sugar Man is also a song that um, Sixto made famous as well. And then he says further, he says that Rodriguez went to Los Angeles in the early 70s. He made two albums without no success. He was on par lyrically with Bob Dylan and musically he was superb um, that's a very very big um, endorsement if it's like a lyrically on par with Bob Dylan anyway he then says um, he went back to Detroit and worked basic manual labor oh. later he was rediscovered and has played big shows ever since this is exactly the kind of artist that the Beatles label Apple Records would have signed back in their days. That's like some solid um, endorsement there from Scott. So let's go check out um, what the um, Sixto guy is made of. So this is called The Sugar Man and it's by Sixto Rodriguez. Sugar Man won't you hurry Cause I'm tired of these scenes For a blue coin Won't you bring back All those colors to my dreams Silver magic ships you carry Jumpers coke, sweet Mary Jane Dead black hole Silver magic ships You carry Jumpers, coke Sweet Mary Jane Sugar man You're the answer That makes my questions Disappear Sugar man Cause I'm weary of those double games I hear Very, very nice voice. I really, really like his voice, you know. And um, it reminds me of a time, um, the music reminds me of a time um, in the 60s, you know, you know, that like, um, that love period, you know, the, uh, the hippie period, you know. That's the vibe that I get, you know. And I think he would have like, um, felt very at home at the Woodstock Festival, you know. Um, the song um, subject is singing about the Sugar Man, singing about Mary Jane and, you know, and all that, you know, so we know what it's all about, you know. Um, Mary Jane and, and, and its friends is supposed to be the answer to his problems. So um, this is obviously a song influenced by drugs, you know. I don't know if it's like autobiographical, um, maybe I'll get to know later, but I really, really like his voice and the music is beautiful as well. I like it. Sugar man, sugar man, sugar man, sugar man, sugar man, sugar
Sugar man, won't you hurry? Cause I'm tired of these scenes. For the blue coin, won't you bring back all those colors to my dreams? Silver magic ships you carry. Jumpers Coke, sweet Mary Jane. Sugar man, met a false friend on a lonely, dusty road. Lost my heart when I found it. It had turned to dead black coal. Wow, oh, very interesting. Um, there was a part in the song, you know, where there was like a breakdown, where like um, it was, the music was like, it was like spaced out, you know, and I, I think that was like obvious that it's like um, a case of um, somebody like who was on a trip, you know, and um, he was like seeing things and, you know, and his imagination was running wild. And I think that was what that bit represented. And then later on as well, you can hear, you know, when his voice was like, like, you know, like a distant echo chamber, you know, obviously somebody who's like another world entirely, you know, he's, you know, out of his mind. So, um, <laughs> Sugar Man, you know, delivered, I guess, you know, and um, it's, it's, I like the song, like I said, you know, it reminds me of the, um, of the 60s, of the hippies period, you know, and, and um, I think it would have been very, very at home at all those festivals back then, you know, and I think in the 70s as well, this song, you know, will do well as well, you know. Um, it's, it's just sad about what Scott said, that um, he didn't get no success and he had to go back to work in manual labor. I can just imagine, right, having this much talent, right, you know, and um, you couldn't, like, fulfill your dreams and you then go, you know, and work manual labor. Not that there's anything wrong with working manual labor, but what I'm just trying to say is like, when you have something that you're gifted at, that you're supposed to be doing, and um, it's not just happening for you, and then you're resorting to do a job that you don't enjoy, you know? Uh, I've been there, so I know what it's like, you know, and it's not the greatest feeling, you know, and I just feel for this guy, man. But I'm happy that, um, you know, the story, you know, turned around for him, and he eventually like realized his dreams, you know? Um, I love a happy ending, you know. Beautiful song. I don't know if he wrote the song or um or maybe it was somebody else who wrote the song, you know, but um but I, I have a feeling he probably wrote it, you know. Um he looks and sounds like one of those artists who just does all their stuff by themselves, you know. Um Sugar Man. I like that. I think I'm gonna like uh, maybe do one or two more of his songs just to see what this guy's all about. You know, um, Scott gave him a great um, endorsement, so um, I think um, um, I owe it to myself, you know, to, to check this out more, you know. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, once again, this guy's name is Sixto Rodriguez, and that was Sugar Man, and there'll be more coming from the Sugar Man. So uh, get your coffee or your cereal ready so you can, like, sprinkle some sugar all over it. <laughs> uh, Thanks for watching here, yeah, guys. My name is Harry, and um, stay cool, stay safe. And oh, before I go, um, in case you haven't subscribed yet, um, you know, don't be shy to do that. You know, that'll be helping, supporting me. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like because um, this helps the video travel far and wide, you know, to uh, all over the place. So uh, I thank you guys in advance. Thanks so much, and I shall see you um, at the next stop. If you want to be um, a patron, by the way, um, which is what Scotty is. That's why I had to do this song, you know, because my patrons, they get a guaranteed reactions from me when they request for it. Um, if you want to be a patron, uh, just type in Harry Best Patron into YouTube and you'll have a short video and it will tell you exactly what you get for being a patron and how to go about it. So take care, guys. Bye-bye.